What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we have a lot to talk about. So I'm going to skip all the preamble and just jump right into it. What did we do last week? Well, last week there was no Sunday wrap up. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. It was the uh, Thanksgiving here in Canada. Um, so that was really nice to be able to take the day, um, just spend it with family and eat basically my body weight in food. <laughs> Uh, so that was awesome. Uh, Monday, I posted a video about how I store the ridiculous, ridiculous amount of fountain pen ink that I own. <laughs> uh, so if you haven't checked that out yet, please do. Uh, and then Friday, I posted a review of this little notebook here uh, from Dingbats, which is just the greatest name of all time, I think. Uh, and it was super, super, super cute. Um, I like it way more than I thought I would, um, to be fair. And it kind of blew my expectations out of the water. So spoiler if you haven't watched it already, um, but watch it <laughs> if you haven't yet. Like, come on now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but next week, I have some good content coming up as well. Uh, Monday, I'm going to be talking about my latest fountain pen obsession. Uh, so I will let you guys write in the comments down below what you think that will be. Um, because I've talked about it before, but I've never really called it my obsession. I don't know. Leave your guesses in the comments down below, but you'll find out tomorrow anyways, <laughs> assuming you're watching this on Sunday, of course. Uh, and then Friday, I'm going to do another years later review, uh, this time on the Caveco Sport. Um, I can't believe I haven't done it already yet on the Caveco Sport. Um, so I was like, you know what, it's, it's about dang time. I mean, I own like, I think 15 or 16 of them now, so... <laughs> Yeah, so I guess spoiler, that's not my latest obsession. That's just my always obsession. <laughs> um, so good content from last week. Uh, it had decent engagement, uh, nothing that blew anything out of the water, but I didn't do like abysmal either, um, just kind of net neutral. Um, so hopefully next week you guys like that content. What do you guys think of my shirt? I bought it from Don Marshall, the obscured Lord of the Rings guy uh, on TikTok. Uh, basically this is Elvish and it says hashtag yeet a seal door. <laughs> um, Lord of the Rings, obvi. Uh, it's just sort of like a, hey, how, how would the story have gone if Elrond just yeeted a seal door <laughs> into Mount Doom? There would have been no Lord of the Rings story. Um, and I thought it was really cute. So. I bought it. Uh, I don't know. Um, what's going on in the fountain pen? No, not fountain pen. Personal life. Uh, well, spoiler, I'm filming this early because later today uh, I am going to go get a booster shot for the plague that shall not be named. Um, I don't really want to get it, <laughs> to be fair, uh, but my dad is having uh, another surgery in November. Um, for those of you who followed along with me last or like early, early 2022 in um, like February, March, April-ish area, you'll know that my dad had surgery then. Uh, he had one shoulder done and now he's getting the other shoulder done. Uh, so we're just doing what we can to try and stay as healthy as possible uh, so that he can actually have said surgery um, without being ill. Because if any one of us are ill, then he would have to get delayed. Uh, and if it gets delayed too much, there's a good chance that he won't be able to do it. So we're going to be doing that later. And this will be my fourth. This will be my parents' fifth. I never got another one. I had no plans on getting another one. But I'm just, you know... I'm doing it because it's just, yeah, I'm just doing it. <laughs> um, I got progressively worse symptoms after every other shot uh, as far as feeling quite ill. So I imagine that I will feel like absolute trash pandas on actual Sunday uh, when this goes up. So I'm filming it a little bit earlier. Um, breaking, breaking the fourth wall of YouTube. <laughs> um, just because I want you to have a Sunday wrap up. So it's actually a Saturday wrap up. <laughs> um, okay, what else is coming up? Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. 
let me, uh, where is it? There we are. So I mentioned many moons ago how I was going to do a review, a review giveaway of the Momento Zero Grande Nuda and life got in the way, but it is coming. It is coming. It is coming October 29th, which is the last Saturday of October at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why is it coming so specifically there? Well, because I'm going to be doing a YouTube live hangout. <laughs> uh, so two things about that. One, if you haven't watched the video where I talk and review this pen, watch it because uh, then you'll learn all the things you need to learn about the pen itself. And then October 29th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be hosting a YouTube live event and I will be giving away this pen during that live event. All you have to do is be watching the live event. <laughs> um, I was thinking about different ways to do it. You know, the whole like and subscribe, like do I do it on Instagram? Do I do it on YouTube? Like it all just seems kind of like the same. And I kind of thought to myself, I was like, well, I want to do the whole like and subscribe thing because it does up your subscribers for both myself and Emmy from Penventure, who is the primary giveaway person. I'm, I'm just I'm just the mechanism of how this is getting given away. He's the one actually giving it away. But then what happens with a lot of those is that like, yeah, your subscriber count boosts, but like it doesn't change anything because a lot of the time the people that like and subscribe it are just doing it for the giveaway and then they have no engagement beyond that. So I don't want to just give it away to somebody who's going to watch my stuff once and then never come back. So that's when I had the idea of a live hangout. And I was toying around with that idea anyways. I was talking about it over on my Patreon account, link in the description if you want to check that out, um, that I was thinking about doing that. So yeah, I decided let's do it. So Saturday, October 29th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be roughly one hour. I say roughly because I think the last time I did it, which was years ago, to be fair, um, it was over an hour, but I think I also only planned that one to be like 30 minutes. So this one, I'm going to try and stick pretty darn close to the hour. Um, no specific content other than the giveaway um, that we'll be talking about. It's just going to be a hangout and conversation is going to flow where conversation flows, I think. Uh, you know, grab a coffee, grab a tea, whatever, and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> if it turns out to be a flop, well, then it'll be a 20-minute thing. If it turns out to be a success, well, then it'll be like an hour. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, I've only ever done one before, and like I said, it was years ago. So October 29th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, moving on. Some other really, really good ideas I think that I have been thinking about is with my dad's surgery I'm going to be taking many weeks uh, off of work to help him through that um, and so when I'm not helping him I'm gonna have some downtime and I was thinking what do I do with that downtime that I could make productive and I thought you know what Christmas is coming. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about doing, and I need your help here. I'm thinking about doing a video every single day, Monday to Friday for December. So for the entire month of December, Monday through Friday, there will be a video from me, <laughs> which turns out to be 22 videos. I normally only post twice a week. So I usually only post and not including this, these like Sunday ones, because this is just like off the cuff ripping, ripping. Um, so that's like eight videos. <laughs> I now have to come up with 22 uh, for the month of December. So I have seven ideas, <laughs> but I need 22. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need a lot more ideas of content to film for you guys. So let me know in the comments down below, what kind of stuff do you want to see from me uh, from the month of December? The vast majority of it, I'm thinking like probably like 90% will be pen related content because let's face it, that's the bulk of, of why you're here. Um, but I might throw in, you know, some some fitness ones and, and uh, book ones and tea ones potentially uh, just here and there um, because 22 videos is a lot, guys. <laughs> 
it's a lot. So that's the idea for December, um, which I'm pretty, pretty stoked about. Uh, and then the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was I mentioned before two Sundays ago, how I was reading through, um, the Greenbone saga from Fonda Lee, which is the Jade War, uh, Jade, no, Jade City, Jade War, Jade Legacy, uh, book. Um, and I was done the first one and I was about halfway done the second one, which is Jade War. Um, I've now finished that and I'm now halfway through the third one, which is Jade Legacy, which is dynamite. Um, I was nervous cause this, this one like time jumps a lot and I've heard some people say that that's kind of hard to follow. Um, I'm going to lean in real close, <laughs> uh, cause I'm reading it on my Kindle. Um, but yeah, I'm about halfway through this. And the reason why I'm trying to boogie through this one a little bit, uh, is because for the month of November with this shirt, <laughs> I have decided that for the first time in my whole life, I've tried it twice now. This will be my third time. I will, I will read cover to cover the Silmarillion. <laughs> I'm going to read it. I have tried twice now and I've never made it through. For the month of November, I'm going to read The Sil Marillion. I will do it. <laughs> I'm going into it with a different mindset. One, I'm going to think about it more as like a historical textbook rather than a book. Because for those of you who don't know, it's not a typical story that follows like a narration. You don't have a single protagonist. You don't have any of that. Each chapter is sort of its own story. Um, and they're, they're pretty darn different. Um, so, and it's also Tolkien at Tolkien's most Tolkieniest as far as the prose, uh, of, of the writing style. So if you couldn't make it through Lord of the Rings because of the, the prose, definitely don't read the Silmarillion, but gosh darn it, I am going to. I also did finish the Rings of Power, um... I am viewing this show as a separate entity, just like I did with Wheel of Time. I'm, I'm viewing it as a separate entity from the canon in which it, it births from. And when I separate it entirely, um, I enjoy it. I, I'm, I'm having a good time watching the show. Uh, I think the writing needs some work. Um, there's a lot of areas that seem really forced, uh, a lot of areas that are almost too quickly paced in a lot of areas that are too slowly paced also i hate the harfoot line like the harfoot storyline it's just boring it's boring i don't care about any of them and it's just like meh. it's just the the segments that like i check my phone during <laughs> um but i am pleased that everyone is now coming together with the exception of this the stranger aka what they're telling you is basically Gandalf spoiler um which I'm also not pleased about by the way I'm hoping it's a blue wizard but based on the last episode there's just too many things that make you think Gandalf um but I don't want it to be Gandalf anywho the stranger and Nori uh, are now leaving and going off on their own and they're going in the opposite direction as everyone else um so who knows with them but my hope <laughs> is that this now means that Nori is the only Harfoot that we will have to deal with and the rest are gone because I don't care about their storyline whatsoever. Um, I want more Elrond. I want more Elrond and Galadriel together because that was dope. Um, I want, yeah, basically <laughs> I, I, I want more dwarves and Elrond and Galadriel. That's that's what I want. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my thoughts on everything there. I'm rambling now and we've almost hit 15 minutes. Oh yeah, these are my Thanksgiving pajamas. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, we're getting weird now. Um, I gotta I gotta head out. I have a gym session and then I'm going to get my vaccine booster, which I really don't want it to do, but that's a, that's a whole other story. <laughs> All right, guys, so reminders. Uh, last week, if you haven't seen it, How I Stored My Ink and the Dingbats Review. Upcoming next week, uh, my latest fountain pen obsession. So again, leave in the comment section what you think that is. And years later on the Caveco Sport, uh, October 29th, 
3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be a YouTube live hangout. Uh, I will do updates or um, reminders uh, on here as well as Instagram uh, for the giveaway of the Momento Zero Grande Nuda. So thank you to Emmy for allowing that to happen and all the good stuff. All right, guys. I appreciate you for watching. If you're still watching this far in, you are the reason I make these videos. So hit that like, subscribe if you want to see new videos every Monday and Friday and occasional rando on Tuesday and potentially 22 videos on in December. Um, check out the description if you want to see my Patreon to help support me and what I do here. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, everybody, it's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So if you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weilei Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Digital Tent Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.